pretty much just gonna jump right in here. I've had my availability changed for this week, and I am being trained on how to totally close the store by myself, because I'm gonna have to do that all next week, because our normal guy is going on vacation. I had kind of a rough day already. <laughs> it hasn't even technically started. Recently, I have taken over doing the schedule at our store, which is really hard. But I met with this guy who's like the schedule whisperer. Like, it's like an art form with him. And he has it down to like this, it's not even a science, it's a dance. He's really, really, really good at it and has like fantastic ideas. And every time I go to see him, like my head hurts. It's like, oh, I need to start doing this. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, and it's like, whoa. Today was a little rough because he's like, uh, you've been doing this and this is like way wrong. Which, yeah, things have been wrong, like we know, but let's like, I did that. This is my screw up and I have to fix it. Not like I don't feel guilty enough in general. So it was kind of a rough meeting and we finished at about like 11, 11.15 and I drove home from there. My shift is supposed to start at 1.30, but when I made the schedule for this week, I forgot that someone requested to be off at one because they have a funeral to go to and so that was my bad. So I told him I would come in at one to help replace them and it's currently 12.22. So I <laughs> need to like talk and get done quick. So I came home, was kind of putzing around. The one bad thing about being somebody who's studied classical music is you get these melodies stuck in your head and you don't know what they're from and you can't pull it up online to try to look up the stinking video to listen to it because that's uh, FYI in case you didn't know that's how you get the song stuck out of your head you bring it up and you play it preferably when there's other people in the room that way then it gets stuck in their head later but you bring it up and you play it and you listen to it and it's like okay it's out of my head if it doesn't work once just keep listening to it and then eventually like it'll get out of your head at least that's how it works for me so I'm washing dishes and all I can hear is ba 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 I, I don't even know why or where or how for that matter. Like that has nothing to do with how my days have been going and I died. I, 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 you ever have it where sometimes your brain scares even you? Anyway, speaking of having songs in your head that you don't know, thank you, Mariah. Okay, so rewind. Mariah is a friend of mine that I met in Fort Wayne, Indiana, doing the, I went on this Catholic weekend retreat that was very meaningful. It's called Awakening. I loved it. Super, super, super good. Super good. It was, it was awesome. Did worship music for that one, and then for one after it where I was on staff, like, officially. That's where I met Mariah. So she plays saxophone. She's also a music tech student, only she goes to St. Francis. She's down here in Nashville for a month working on an internship. And she was like, we snap each other. And she's like, hey, I'm coming down. I'm like, yeah, we need to hang out. So we've been hanging out. We made plans to hang out Friday. And she's like, dude, you gotta come with me Sunday. There's this bar that they have like an open night thing and they play jazz music and it's really cool. And I am not, I'm not really in the know about jazz music. I don't really know the names of stuff. The older the music, the better chance I have of knowing it. If it's sang by Frank or Ella Fitzgerald, or like Michael Buble kind of, like I know he's not old, but you, you get what I'm saying. If it's like that kind of stuff, like yes, I know that kind of music. I understand that kind of music. I, I recognize it. It gets stuck in my head. I like that kind of music. I mean, she's down here all alone and it's music and I like music in general. So I mean, sure, why the heck not, right? So I told her yes. And I also got my friend Janice to come along with us. And it was a $10 covered to get in. It was dope. Like, it, it really was cool. Uh, I didn't know what they were doing half the time. I didn't know the name of the songs. But basically, what they did is, like, we went into this bar. You paid to get in. You would still have to pay for drinks and still have to pay for food. And they have this house band that's there. It consisted of a piano player, an upright bass player, and a drummer. And then they had other people that would just cycle through that played, like, the saxophone, whether it was soprano or alto sax. They had a trumpet player. They had a trombone player. They had a different drummer. They had a couple different drummers that came in. They had some vocalists that came in. They had another guy that could play the upright bass. And when I say play the upright bass, like here's the thing, because like he was up there playing it, the first guy was, for a long time. And then someone else came in and they swapped him out right away because he was working hard. He was playing the upright bass. And then they would say, are there any bass players out there? And Janice was with me. She's like, hey, hey, that's you. You know how to play the bass. No, no, I do not know how to play the upright bass. That guy, that guy knows how to play the upright 
straight face. And what he's doing is like calligraphy. Me, I can finger paint, okay? That is not the same thing. I did not go up. None of us went up. And I told Mariah that next week she better pull on her big girl panties and go on up stage because she is amazing on the saxophone and actually knows jazz music. So therefore should be performing some of these jazz music. Because the whole time I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I don't, I don't know the name of this song. And she's like, it's Caravan. Dude! So I do have some clips. So this first one, this is a guest guitarist that they had that came on the stage. player isn't really working this hard in that video, but... The guitar player was really good. What? Like that, that was super chill. That was really cool. Like it was just, it was just this nice. Anyway, so here's another one. Uh, this is a different guitar player that came up. Already you can see that the bass player is playing, like he's walking the bass, which is boom. different drummer on the drums too than there was in the last one. Anyway, that one was good. Same song, this is the bass solo. This next one was the first vocalist that we heard for the night. I will write a preface on how we met So the world would never forget And the simple I can't do that. secret of the plot Is just to tell them that I love you a lot And the world discovers as my book ends How to make two lovers The piano player was amazing. Oh, here's another vocalist that went up. So it was cool. And then this is, this is the one, this is Caravan that they did.
But yeah, it was it was actually really cool and has me really arguing with myself. Man, forty dollars a month, that's it's kind of a lot of money. Probably shouldn't go every week, but it was really cool. Probably shouldn't go, but it was really cool. And like I and I keep coming up with like, well, you know, it'd probably be a good idea to go and just watch people play bass and like try to pick up tricks and stuff and talk to them and see if they could teach you anything. Forty dollars a month, that's a lot of money. You can't just it's literally two hours a week. Forty dollars a month for eight hours. That's that's what that's what you're looking to paint. Okay, but I'm not gonna get better just sitting in my room uh, and just looking at my bass or watching myself play bass and learn this new type of music that upright basses are really used a lot for. It'd be really good. You can't. It's forty dollars, Larissa. Forty dollars. You don't have the self control for this. But I mean, I think I don't need it for this because this is an investment. Honestly, it'd be the responsible thing to do. You can't. So I'm really torn right now. Uh, <laughs> the compromise has been that as long as Mariah's here and as long as Mariah goes, yes, I will be going with Mariah. <laughs> it's not really a compromise. It's basically gonna have to turn into, all right, you can go, but you can't eat out at all this week. <laughs> it's gonna suck, but maybe that's what needs to happen anyway, you know? <sighs> Woof. All right, well, it is 1237 and I told someone I would take over their shift at one. So I need to even get to work early. That way I can make the setup sheet for the closing thing. I hate feeling like my life is being more of a reaction than being proactive. Well, that will be all for your broadcast today. Thank you as always for tuning in and listening to me. And I hope that you have a fantastic week this next week.